Hi, it's Zach from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today, book of the Bears, Seen Bears, and Too Much TV from 1984. So let's get started. It was a fine spring day in bear country. The bluebird was singing. The trout was leaping. And... Except for one small cloud of dust building behind the school bus as it came over the hill, the air was sparkling clean. Mama Bear was inside the family treehouse fixing brother and sister Bear after school snack. Brother and Sister Bear got off the school bus and came into the kitchen with hardly a hello. Then they did what they did every day. They took their milk and cookies into the living room and just on the TV. There's no question about it, thought Mama. Those cubs are watching too much TV. Later, when Papa Bear came in from his shop, and joined brother and sister. Mama became even more concerned. There's after Lucy, no question about it. The whole Bear family is watching too much TV. She wasn't quite sure how it had happened. Maybe it began when the old fuzzy picture black and white set broke down and it got a big new color set. Or maybe it started when Papa put the big antenna up on the tree, wait, up on the top of the treehouse and brought in pictures from all over Bear Country. But however it happened, one thing was sure, the Bear family was spending more and more time watching television and less and less time with all the other things they might be doing instead. The Bear family had always had lively conversation around dinner ta- around the dinner table, but not lately. Lately, they just sat around and chew. The Cubs had all kind of fun playing outdoors, but not anymore. They were too busy watching Nutty Bear in the Bear Stooge. That evening after dinner, when brother and sister scampered in to to turn on the TV, Mama stopped them and said her piece. We have been watching all together too much television around here. But Mama said, brother, Nutty Bear is coming on. We'll miss it. And the bear stooge added sister. Well, you just have to miss them, said Mama firmly. And furthermore, she added, you may as well just get used to the idea because there's not going to be any more television around here for a whole week. No tea before a week, said the shock cubs. But Mama, never mind the but, said Papa. Your mother is absolutely right. There's a lot more to life than TV. Like homework, for instance, and fresh air and sunshine and exercise. No TV for a week is an excellent idea. Now, if you, now if you could excuse me, there's a sports show I want to watch. Just a moment, Papa said. Mama, no TV for a week means you too. What said Papa? You can't be serious. But Mama was very serious. What about the news? Protest Papa. I won't know what's going on in the water if I don't watch the new, the TV news. Here, try this, said Mama. It's called the newspaper. And the weather continue, Papa. How will we know what the weather will be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining. What are we supposed to do? Just sit around and talk, act brother? That'd be fine for starters, said Mama. 
settle in comfortably in her rocker. But it had been so long since the Bear family sat around and talked that they had sort of forgotten how it really didn't matter. Because pretty soon Papa fell asleep and snored so loudly that they wouldn't have hurt each other anyway. After school the next day, the cubs looked longly at the TV, but Mama shooed them out to play. Brother Bike had a tire that needed pumping up, and Sister Trike needed a little order. And while it seemed strange not watching television, it was fun riding bikes and trikes again, sort of. That evening, the cub worked on their homework, but it wasn't easy with that blank TV just sitting there staring. Then sister noticed an ad in Papa newspaper, an ad for a TV special. Oh, Mama, she said, look, a, a special. No TV for a week, no TV for a week. Answer Mama, and besides, Mother Nature had a much bigger special waiting for us. We're going to sit outside and watch the stars come out. Watch the stars come out? Complained Sister. I don't know if I can stand the excitement, said Brother. But as they sat out under the great sky, a spell came over the bears. It was all so big and beautiful. The bear stared at the sky so far, not a single star. Look, cried sister, something flying. Bat, said Papa, out for their breakfast of insects. Breakfast, said brother. That's right, answered Papa. Bat sleeps during the day, so this is their breakfast time. I see a star, cried sister. She had found the first tiny star. Soon there was others, and after a while the whole sky was filled with stars, and it was very special. More special than anything they had ever seen on TV. It was sharper, but it was a sharper picture, too, in a much, much bigger screen. The Bear family did all sorts of interesting things over the next few days, so interesting that they hardly thought about TV. They went on nature walks and watched tadpoles hatch out eggs. They watched a spider spin a magnificent web. They went shopping at Bear Country Mall. Sister used some of her saving to buy a knitting spoon and some yard. Brother bought a kill puzzle. They did have to keep an eye on Papa though. When they was all at the mall, the Cubs caught Papa in the TV store, sneaking a look at a game show. Another time, he went downstairs in the middle of the night for a peek at the late, late movie, but Mama and the Cubs stopped him just in time. The next evening, it was the last day of their no, of their no TV week. The Bear family was having a lively conversation at dinner. They all agreed that the whole way that the week had been a success, but Brother had a question. Mama, he asked, what is it you don't like about TV? What do you have against it? Goodness, said Mama, I don't have anything against TV. I like it. What I'm against is the TV habits. Sitting in front of it day after day, like old stoops, waiting for dry rot to set in. Well, said brother, tomorrow I'm going to get a whole bunch of snacks and watch TV all day. Me too, said sister. Me too, said papa. But 
The only one who did not watch it all day was Papa. Brother got interested in cute puzzles and finally uh, solved it. Sister started knitting a rug on her knitting school. Finally, even Papa had enough and decided to bait his hook for a couple, wait, for a couple of those leafing trouts. So that was the Bears King Bears and Too Much TV for 1984. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, have a groovy day with another video coming out real soon.